I can't. I fucking can't anymore. Oh my god. Jesus. This is a fucking train wreck. This is lit. Like, big order. Everything I've said from this date has only just legitimately gotten worse in this episode. It's even sadder because it's the fifth one and there's only ten episodes in this entire series. Yes, so we're, it, we're literally through the entire series and this one episode has cemented in near every single fucking scene. No, scratch that. Every single fucking scene of this episode has either been fucking offensive, needless and pointless, fucking characters with bipolar that are just like, one minute they want to kill a character, the next minute they have to suddenly fuck in love with them, and there's like, no reason at all. So let's get into the first five minutes, which is literally a bath episode, where, well, one, for sentences, I ain't hating on bath episodes, you know, they're, they're needed on that, you know, for man time, but one, it's censored, and it's shittily censored, like, it's just like you can see nothing, the conversations that they're having are not, A, not funny, B, not interesting, because we're never going to see a lot of these characters anyway, and we don't have a real grind of them, and then when both Rin and AG get a mission where they're, like, flying around, and they're, like, taking over the place with their, like, domination, going around, like, this whole area, decide, like, hey, let's go on a fucking date, and go throughout this shit, like, and even with, like, them saying, oh, by the way, the time powers on Senna have been deactivated, and they're like, why? Like, w is there a legit reason? Not really, no. And when they just go up to tell to your sister, by the way, like, right in front of Senna's face, you're gonna die. <laughs> You're going to die in six months. And AJ, like, he's like, why would you do this? And he's like, sorry, we're going to get you killed, sis. We're going to get you killed. It's fine. It's fine. Like that. And he's like, well, I kind of knew about this already. And it's like, I know you're just trying to be a good brother. And, okay, AJ's trying to be a good brother. But the next scene is so fucking irredeemable from both of them. And it, like, so... I can't even, I don't even want to fucking talk about this part. So, turns out, as we know, they're half related. You know, so it seems from what it sounds like, they have the same father, but different mothers. And fucking, oh my god, the two are banging each other. There is a scene where she's holding, uh, like, each other, like, and saying, like, Oni Chan, in these crazy psycho eyes, don't leave me. She's grabbing hold of him, fucking wrapping her legs around, and it's clearly fucking shown as their clothes are everywhere, and they're testing for this shit, and I'm like, oh my god, we've got incest banging. We, is he, is his goal to cure his sister, not just because he cares for her, but because he just wants to bang her, and it's... This man is either so broken or so sick, twisted, and dumb that he's banging his little sister. Aj's like 16. Like, he's like probably like 16, 15. Now I'm sure that's the legal consent. He's banging like a 14, 13 year old. Get the fuck out of there. Fucking do is a fucking pedo shit. Then what is the whole point of Rin then? Like... Was the whole point of like having this character to do all this shit? And it's got, uh, was there any explanation on the time man? Like where the fuck did he go? Like oh no, never mind. Uh, you got that? The whole dating shit, which I'm like, what? What tone? As again, this t like there's all right to do this stuff. Like it's fine in an anime, but why this is sick anime trying to have one tone goes to the next? That gets about that one goes to a completely other time. Like the show throws like nine different elements. It wants to be an etchy one minute, it wants to be a romance next minute, it wants to be suspense, it wants to be horror, it wants to be fucking creepy. Like it wants to be rock. Like the show wants to be so many fucking things, and it's like it's making every single part worse. I like I'm honestly one that that is plain fucking disgusting on the whole incest thing. And Rin's character, especially, where it's like, we knew that she wanted to kill Eiji. And the whole, the reasoning of, like, 
okay, this guy's back that can control, like, you know, people with his order. By the way, though, it's like, oh, can he control, like, AG and everyone else? Mm, yeah, I guess. Like, it's just like, oh, since his one is first, basically whoever, like, you know, like, like the second person to use his ability is the winner. So in that sense, I guess that's what, like, oh, whoever activates their power second and all that works. And it's like, oh, but you can't control mine. Ha, 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 ha. That's, you got that. And the guy isn't one, he isn't threatening, like, one, and he takes over Rin, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna use your actual goal of what you've wanted to do along, kill Eiji, it's like, yeah, but it's like, she hasn't had any real reason to like him, it's been such a short amount of time, and it's like, yeah, oh, he killed my family, and he hasn't, he's done, like, one good thing, like, out of, like, which was last week, trying to save a bunch of people, even still. And then you add up to him that he's, well, I'm sure she doesn't know that he's pounding his sister. It's like, oh my god. And then the fight cuts, which is a terrible fucking fight. Between Rin goes crazy, fucking fights AG, terrible fucking fight. His arm gets cut, like his fucking hand just gets cut off. There's no intensity to this at all. You know, like, if this was another show, if this was Future Diary, if this happened to Yuki, I'd be like, oh my god, Yuki's arm just got cut. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Ooh. Like, I'm going for that, and it's not... Am I supposed to be like, <gasps> not? Because I'm like, that just looks so flat, bland, and just, like, it didn't look good. And, like, the the reason to, like, oh, we can't, like, his like, house also isn't working and why you can't do it is because they're wearing headphones because they're just listening to music loudly. And then the kicker in the teeth, like, everyone just arrives. Don't get an explanation on the guy's house. He's just like, oh, I just treat fiction. Like, these, these wounds are a lie. That's punching you is truth, which was supposed to be a cool line, I guess. Like, and then... This big reveal, this big reveal of that Aegis father is the like is the user of like the fucking like of the order. But that guy wasn't him. He was just someone being controlled by him. It's and Rin just leaves the oh fucking I. The show is a fucking mess. I I I honestly I don't, I am reading this. I I need to know. I'm going to get to at least this bit and just confirm that if it, like, this has got to be both. This has got to be both the anime fucking it up and both the manga. So it's like, hey, we're going to, like, one, it's pretty shit already. Let's already just put a dumpster fire onto it. It's, oh my god. It, like, Eiji is so irredeemable now. He is so, ir like, like, his arm gets cut off. So is you fucking right. You shouldn't be plowing your little 13-year-old sister. Like, what are you doing? And it's like, oh, well, he's emotionally damaged and everything because he, like, blew up the world. It's like, I don't, like, there are other characters that have done the similar situation. There have been other characters that have had, like, lives on their lives. They don't go pounding and re like siblings are. Like, Jesus Christ, as much problems as SAO has, Kirito didn't put it in Sugu. He didn't put it in there. Oh, it's a fucking train. I, I, I was going to give this show a one at first. No, it doesn't deserve a number. It just deserves zero. It doesn't deserve a fucking one out or a ten or anything like that. It deserves zero. I would not recommend watching this. I really hope people just see the title of the video and just say, I'm not going to watch the show. Because... I hate that I had to bring up that, yeah, fucking little kid sex is happening. It shouldn't be a fucking thing in the fucking series together. And it's like, what? You can say, well, well Future Diary, you know, Yuki, uh, like, uh, fucking, like, you know, they, you know, they plowed. But it's like, yeah, they weren't fucking 12. They weren't fucking little, th like, 13-year-olds. I think they were, what, like, 16, 17, like, in the, in the show. Like, I think that's what they were. Which is still a fucking grey area. I mean, it's the UK is 16 here to 18. of like, you know, fucking sex. But even still, I wouldn't fucking plow. One, your sister. Two, your fucking, like, relative. Like, at that age. This guy. And just seeing when it's like, all these moments are like, let me have saxophone music. Or when the fight looks fucking dog shit. Like, the fight... 
part of the episode. It's like, where did the animation go? Because it certainly didn't go into the CGI. It certainly didn't go into any other part of the episode. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't. I tried with order. I really tried. I was trying to find some fucking gold in this fucking show. Like, I really wanted to do like that because it's... Like, I, I like Future Diary a lot. I really do. But it's like, this is fucking... I, I like garbage. And if you guys really don't see that, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you think this is a good show. Like, but like, it's Bo Boku no Pico is just fucking wrong in so many levels. But it's like, even for an action show, even for a fucking action show, this is so, ugh. This is, that's just what it is. And it's like, that. I, I feel like I've lost words to say anymore. I, I, no, scratch that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm going to try, I, 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 I don't even know why I want to read that manga. I just want to, I just want to confirm Whose fault is it? And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's both of them. Yeah, at this point, there has to be something into this. If it's not, if this is just all anime that they're doing, I hope the fucking manga is a fucking shame to this fucking adaptation. But then the confirmation of that, the, the people are not doing the manga anymore because, yeah, they can't be fucked. And that, you know, is if Tari turns into dog shit there, hey, 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 hey. We'll, we'll have to see, but... Normally when a fucking anime really flops, that only means that they're just going to fucking, like, the manga's going to end sometime soon at that point. So, that just goes into a confirmation there. So, all I can say is, I really want him to, like, I'm really looking forward to if he does, a ne like, a next manga and he learns from this. That's all I'm saying about it. Other than that, zero. I, I like, zero, one, whatever the one fucking you saw you get, I think it's zero. Like, there was not one bit in the episode, like, even the titty scene that it's censored, doesn't make sense why the character's there, the scene, the stuff that they're saying are not funny, the stuff that they're even saying when it involves plot is not interesting, the characters are fucking bland, and some of them are just... Like, the main character now, to me, is irredeemable. He is utterly irredeemable now. Like, if he dies, I don't care. That's just how it is. So... What do you think about the big reveal of his father and the touch? Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Video gone. Video done. Ended. There you go. See you guys. Fuck it. Next time. Fuck you, big order. Fuck you.